So we're currently at the beautiful uh, beaches of Tel Aviv and I thought no place would be better to talk about finding who you are, finding yourself, getting the answers than, than this place. Beautiful, by the way. Um, oh, by the way, it's all, only like 4.30 p.m. Something, uh, something's wrong. <laughs> I think that, that like the computer of the universe or God maybe has a, a bit of a miscalculation. <laughs> Somebody's not getting the timing right. But, because um, it's almost sundown, you can't even see the sun. But, um, basically, um, the topic for this video is how to find yourself, who you are. And mistake I find almost everybody doing. I, I haven't find, found a single person that did this right, um, is looking outside. You, people tell me, oh, I've been trying to understand who I am. So I've been watching many videos and reading books and doing courses. And you might be one of two kinds of people. Uh, first kind is like, yeah, they, you know, that's how you find out who you are. You know, you learn more. And another kind might say, oh, of course, you know, that doesn't work because you need to look inside. So I'm kind of speaking to the first group here. Uh, because that's frankly the 99% of people that contact me when they want to know who they are they just go on this crazy rampage of, of digesting books and seminars and just spending all this all their money on it but the problem is the more you look uh, the harder it will be to find because you can't discover who you are um, outside of you so all this um, supposedly brave search that you're doing, oh, look at me, I'm spending so much money, so much time, so much energy. The very fact that it's like easy for you, that you're like inclined to do it, motivated to do it, it just goes to show that this is not what you should be doing. Uh, what you should be doing, if you want to know who you are better, is to, and sorry if around now so what you should be doing if you're actually looking for you know who you are is to go to the beach just like this one take a blanket uh, leave your phone at home by the way and just sit sit for like five six seven eight hours probably um, and, and that's how you're gonna find out who you are. Now, I know, I know that kind of sounds funny. I know that sounds like, oh, you know, uh, how am I gonna find out who I am by just sitting? But it is resting under, your, under your, your sights all this time because that's the only thing you haven't tried. And you might say like, oh, you know, I, I, I went to nature or, you know, I do spend time alone in, in my house or in my room, you know? No, that doesn't count. I mean alone, like nobody around you, nothing. Now, of course, people can be around you, but not people that you know, and not a lot of them. So you, you should feel rather alone. You should feel like you're completely alone. And basically, you sit down for, again, five to eight hours. And what's going to happen is at first you're going to feel a bit bored then you're gonna feel a bit angry maybe some things are gonna surface then you're gonna feel stressed uh, then you're gonna to want to get out of there so basically your mind will be um, unwiring many things that you kind of buried it will kind of start coming up so your body it's like your it's like those softwares that you download for your computer that clean up the computer so your body your mind has that on you know automatically it comes pre-built with that but in order for it to work you have to stop moving or you could say for example there's video games where if you want your character to uh, regain their health let's say you lost health you have to stand still so it's kind of the same thing you have to stand still you have to stop <laughs> and once you stop um, the answers will stop popping up the answers to your questions now why aren't you already 
um, getting the answers. So uh, Elwan Hubbard uh, made a very good analogy for that. He says that the mind, um, it's sort of like a calculator and it, it always supposed to give your perfect calculations. You know, uh, two plus two equals four or what should I do? You know, any question you could have, your mind should be giving you the perfect answers. But if you have the number seven stuck on the calculator, it will be hard to get the right answer. So you want to get the answer like, hey, what do I want to do with my life? And then your mind is like, hey, what do I want to do? Oh my God, what will dad think about me? Bam, you're off on another direction. Or what do I want to do? Oh, oh wait, what, what, did I hear? what did I learn about what I should do? Oh, what, did, what did that guy say? Like you basically have all these reroutes, all these blockages and fogs, and you don't, you can't get to the answer. You can't get like a clear answer of what you want to do, uh, which is goes to show your mind is, is is not working. It's not that it's fucked up in on its own. It's just that you uh, there's shit on top of it that you need to clean. So again, the very fact that you're asking yourself these kinds of maybe deep but simple questions and not getting an answer just goes to show that your mind is not um, functioning because there's too much foggage, there's too much um, noise, too much reroutes and you can't just get to the answers which, which you can solve by cleansing yourself. By the way, you should check out this amazing Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, you, you, you clean up your mind by being alone, by being still with yourself. The beach is the best place. So anytime I'm, something happens that's really horrible in my life, something hard, something difficult, I just go to the beach, sit there for a couple of hours and just, uh, just be. And it always resolves. I always go back to rationality. Like whatever I was so emotional about, like, oh my God, this is so bad, blah, 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 blah. I always go, like suddenly it becomes rational and my mind gives me the perfect answers how to solve it. Like the book I'm writing, for example, is a result of me uh, going to the beach on a very stressful, tough time for me. And the answer is just, bang, just popped up. So if you're ever confused and you don't know what to do, it just means you've built up a lot of mental fog and you need to release that. You need to clean that up and go back to rationality. And you do that by, again, being alone. And you might ask, okay, what do I do if there's no <laughs> beach around me? Maybe you live in, uh, you know, in, uh, in Las Vegas or something. Um, well, you don't have to go to the beach. I mean, that's just the best place. Sorry, I mean, it's the best place. You know, you, you, you can't beat water but you know you can just um, go to the forest I don't know go to a place in nature but just honestly sit there and don't don't travel there don't take your phone don't think about it just go find a place to sit plant yourself there get a lot of fruits and vegetables so you'll be clean and fed and let your mind clean itself. Just stare at the ocean or stare at the tree. Or... Now, it works. It just works. And, and because it's like an extreme version of meditation. And uh, usually the people that I tell to do that, you know, they, the same people that are like, oh yeah, I invested so much money. So I want to know who I am so much. They won't do it because it's so scary. It's, it's gonna sound funny, but it's so scary to actually do that because you're going to get the answers <laughs> and most people um, this is from spirituality but most people prefer the seeking rather than uh, the finding so uh, if you honestly prefer the finding more than the seeking just do what I say and um, you won't have any more questions trust me you'll know exactly who you are you'll know exactly what you want to do it works it works 100% of the time it's, it's, it's life-changing and I recommend everybody to do that every once in a while uh, just because it's so good so helpful so thanks for watching hope this helps you a lot well it will help you a lot help you a lot if you do it but again if you're gonna take one thing away is that you're not gonna find the answers 
outside. You have to find them inside, and the only way to find them inside is by quieting the bullshit, quieting the mind, letting your mind clean up itself. And um, I, I hope to God you'll listen to me and do that because, you know, it's really that simple. But I mean, if you're going to spend money on a coach, you know, might as well pick me because at least I'm going to force you to do it. Um, but if not, I mean, I wish you the best. And I know that eventually you will listen to me once you run out of options and money. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And um, more videos coming today.